Hi everyone, and welcome to the latest update of Avid Media Composer. I'm Michael Krulik with Avid's Market Solutions, and we're going to take a look at Media Composer 2024.2, a powerhouse tool for professional film and video editing. Avid Media Composer continues to innovate with exciting new features that enhance workflows and empower creativity. Let's take a look. We have had script-based editing in Media Composer for years, and our recent enhancements to ScriptSync AI and PhraseBind AI have added major functionality to the editorial process. In Media Composer 2024.2, we have pushed the envelope even further with transcription tools that will let you export transcripts with Speaker ID and to create subtitles. To export with Speaker ID, simply right-click on your clip or sequence and choose Export Transcript. You will see the speaker ID identified throughout the file that is saved with frame accurate timecode. And to export from a sequence for subtitles, right click on the sequence and choose Export Subcap. The resulting file can be imported back into Media Composer through the Subcap effect in the Generator Effect group. Drop the Subcap effect on an upper layer track in your sequence. Select Import Caption Data and you now have frame accurate placement of subtitles from the transcription function. I definitely recommend that someone starting out in editing use and learn Media Composer. It is the best tool to work in film and TV and my goal was always to work in film and TV. You can also choose how you want your subtitles to be displayed by changing options and parameters in the effect editor. Being able to create transcripts in Media Composer is fantastic because it's not going to the cloud at all. All transcripts are generated locally on your system. Although Media Composer's AI transcription is multilingual by default, users can now define a particular language hint resulting in a more accurate outcome in some instances. Also, the transcription database is supported across multiple projects. This time-saving feature lets your transcript creation happen once and then use in all other projects. Tracking and viewing metadata is valuable to the editing process, as the team needs to be able to trace or view any of this vital information from cameras or audio devices. Media Composer users can now access metadata from production directly in the timeline. Providing helpful information on microphone placement across audio channels and can be seen on your timeline when you enable the source track name from the timeline fast menu. To enhance the exchange of information between video applications used for VFX and online workflows, we have added a public preview of the open source exchange format, Open Timeline IO. With the 2024.2 release, it is only available on a PC, but will be available on Mac soon. This AAF, XML, or EDL alternative format is in response to the growing support for Open Timeline I.O. across the entertainment industry. Right-click on your sequence, and through the Output Send To option, select Open Timeline I.O., or OTIO. At Avid, we have exciting plans for where we want to go with Open Timeline I.O., but this public preview will allow users to provide useful feedback and insights on how Open Timeline I.O. can help you with your workflows. Great enhancements to the creation of transcripts, added metadata tracking, and adopting new formats for better collaboration, Avid Media Composer continues to lead the way in professional video and film editing. Thank you for your time and talent. Happy editing, and we'll see you next time.